just mm-hmm. it sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, well. no. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today as you guys can see, look who we yeah, have here. Up? What's up, people? Finally feels comfortable enough to come and sit in front of the camera. It's alright, it's alright. It's been a little journey but steady. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, this is Silman. For all of you that know, know him. And if you don't know him, this is Silman, known as Sully, known as Puppy. He's a man with many names, you guys. It's coming up to two years now, me and Sully, and our lovely marriage, Alhamdulillah. And I just wanted to find out how he's doing and uh, the challenges that he faced coming into me and my children's life, our children now, Alhamdulillah and uh, how he's finding it the pros and the cons the ugly and the beauty the tears and the laughters what he enjoyed and um, what he's struggling and what he's still learning because in our lovely community that we have you know women with three children mashallah is considered as a lot of children but alhamdulillah three children children are blessing you know it's not easy for women with kids to get remarried for many reasons so you know i got married to this lovely human being over two years well coming up to two years yes, now yeah. and i just wanted to get inside of his head and find out because Sully, you guys is the most quiet human being that you will ever meet this guy is so shy over everything and anything he's not much of a talker he doesn't voice his opinion he's very mashallah reserved person so I thought, why don't I do a little talk and we'll try to keep it as real as we can and going to keep it truthful, right? Inshallah. Right, let's get into it, Sulman. Let's get it cracking. Coming up to two years, yeah? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, how are you finding it? Well, I'm, inshallah, many more years, but mm. it's fine. Well, it was a bit hard at the start. Yeah. Because obviously getting used to the kids and everyone has a different personality, mm. you know, like kids, they're like little mm. adults and yeah. like obviously they, you can't really see but everyone has a different character, mm. do you know what I mean, like the attitudes, some some are alright, some have a little bit, you know, problems <laughs> and yeah. you know, like every, like us human beings, we look at kids, Yeah. Uh, they're just kids, but obviously their mind mm. is still growing, yeah. but inside mm. there's like everyone is unique to the core, like I think obviously it is true every human being is different, mm. but as kids you can see like everyone is like unique in itself, like they have different characters, so you gotta treat them accordingly in that yeah. sense, you know, so like you can't deal with the oldest the way you deal with the middle one because he's like total different person yeah. he likes that and you know so yeah. it is it's it's hard at the start but alhamdulillah like we became friends mm. and best buddies now but gradually that you are still facing some challenges yeah and but gradually it got better i got to yeah. know them i know what to say and what not mm. to say yeah. how to deal with them you know yeah. Uh, people think parenting, well, like, parenting is probably one of the hardest things. Yeah. Like to have, well, I'm like, like, I'm not saying the kids are handful, but it's just in general. Mm. Like, I would think the way my mom. Yeah. Like, do you do you understand? Like, yeah. you just go through a memory lane, think oh, you know what? I was a little trouble when I was a child. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah. my mom, the grief and the problems we used to give her. So. Mm. So every time I face that, I just look at him and think, you know what? Yeah. We used to be one young ones, and you know we used to have all different types of problems when we was growing up. Mm. Like, Attitude-wise, things we don't like. You know they say parents know what's best. Yeah. Well, I understand it now. <laughs> you understand it. Okay, so yeah. rewind, re- rewind to when we first met. You guys, if you want us to do how we met, then let us know. We'll do that as well. But rewinding back to when we first met and um, I told you that I didn't tell him from the beginning that I had children. After we got to know each other, I told him that I had that I have children. From telling you that I had children, especially in our community, when we decided that we was going to get married, like, mm. how did you feel? Uh, personally, when you told me, mm. like, to me, it was like, when you said I have three kids, like, I didn't instantly think, oh shit, like, can I swear? No. 
No, obviously it's shit. Like what I mean is like, oh, like you know what people say, damn. Like, mm. no, nah, none of none of that came to my mind personally. Mm. And I have nieces, nephews. We, 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 I come from a big family. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And if you look at it, I don't think we talk about. No, no, not a lot of people talk about this. But it's, this, there's a big like it gets stigmatized. Not just in our culture. Mm. Like you can look at the Asian culture, the Muslim Arab countries as well. It's all. It's always the same thing. Yeah. Like if you do or eventually. What I'm trying to say is in our culture, you not know, people. They don't really talk about this much. But it gets stigmatized in, yeah. in a sense where, like, even if you would go, I'm just saying a scenario. Mm. Like if a guy goes to his mum and he says, oh, oh mum, I'm going to get married. And then she's like, oh, that's fine. And then you say, oh, she has kids. But most yeah. of the times, it's just in our culture, you get stigmatized to yeah. an extent, like your mum might accept it, but they might even say, oh, are you sure? Just to double check that, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah. even though it, it's hard, but... Yeah, it's, like a it's, woman that's got kids don't deserve yeah. to be happy or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it gets, it gets looked at different, differently and... and it's not nice in that extent, especially mm. if you're female yeah. and things never worked out in the past with your previous partner. Yeah. You know, so if you do find happiness, like Alhamdulillah, like you should be happy. Me, per when I told my mom she was happy, she was she was like, she's like, if she has kids, and the way you have to look at it as a man is, you had two boys and, two, and one girl. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So those boys, they're gonna grow up without dad. Mm. Not saying like at that moment of time, but you have to think about it okay she has two boys they're gonna grow up without that that is it's, it's hard in this yeah. type of area culture wise as well like yeah. especially living in london is mm. it's, it's, it's it's very hard you know for yeah. kids to grow up and it's statistically proven where most of the kids that get into trouble or like mentally like they get they they, they get depressed in that extent because it is true like you need a father and you need a mom to make a child, you know, grow up happily in that yeah, sense. Yeah, you do, you, know? you do, you do. So you do. In, in that sense, I did look at it from your perspective, from my perspective and the kid's perspective. And yeah. if you pull it all together, as long as I'm a good dad, inshallah ta'ala, like, I don't think they would lose any of the things that they would the other kids have, you know? Absolutely. Or get from their parents. Absolutely, right. Moving on to the next question. What was who were you close to the most out of all the children? All the kids, I think I think each of them they all have this little bond with me which is hard yeah. to explain mm. obviously through express through the camera. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah the oldest, Munira, we're like we're good friends, we're best friends oh, to an extent. Really she extent. she always jokes around with me, she always pulling my leg, making <laughs> funny jokes, always you know, and Khalil. I'm very close with him as well. Yeah. Just we have this thing in common. I love football, he's obsessed with football. Yeah. Eunice is more a bit geeky, he likes things. Text. Yeah, like yeah. he likes to do with things with his hands, he likes to build. Mm. And obviously the youngest, which is Benjamin and He's still growing up, so inshallah we'll see what type of character he develops into, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. What child gave you the most grief? I wouldn't say they gave me grief, but understanding each other was very hard at the start because of um, just, just, it's just different because obviously yeah. they've been growing up with you, single yeah. parent, mm. the way you deal with things is different, yeah. the way I deal with things. Yeah. and. Obviously, if I see certain things run, like mm. it's for my place, it's, it is my place to say, listen, this is not good. But if the child is gonna accept it, it's, a yeah. two, it's another it's different, a different thing, thing as well. Yeah. So I can tell them, listen, don't do it at the start, mm. and then eventually he keeps doing it, and then he gets in trouble with his brother. Obviously, we're talking about Khalil. Yeah. <laughs> it was really Khalil, hard. Khalil, it was really Khalil. hard. Khalil. It was like yeah. a little World War Three happening with me and him, but. Is, it was it was for his own good because mm. I was telling him, listen, you gotta be a nicer brother, you gotta share things. Yeah. Just if you don't install these values mm. into them from early, like yeah. they're gonna drift apart. Mm. Where they're always gonna fight instead of like bonding with each other. Yeah. Because I'm gonna say your little brother always gonna need you, and you, you as the little one, you're yeah. always gonna need your older brother. Yeah. Whether it's to back you up, whether it's to help you. And like they say, sharing is caring, but with kids, to share stuff is very hard for them. Mm. 
Especially mm. when they say this is mine and they beef it over it. Like you're not allowed to touch that. Yeah. And, and the I'm reason like, well, Khalil gave, I feel like the reason Khalil gave you so much grief at the beginning is because when we met and we was we was talking, when we was mm. talking and before we got married and we was getting to know each other and you was getting to know the children. Yeah. All they got to see was the fun side of you doing fun stuff. You yeah. know, no telling off, no consequences, yeah, of no course. getting in trouble, none of that. And then I feel like when we got married and um, you moved in and you know when he misbehaved, you telling him off. He found it a bit difficult. He found it really difficult, and yeah. you found I'm sure you found it difficult as well. It was hard for and me. Then like, I don't want to setting upset boundary you. was yeah, like setting boundaries was very difficult. It was de- very difficult, but looking at the where we are today yeah. like from two years mashallah like. no, alhamdulillah allah allah has changed when i say allah has changed like allah has changed mm. you like, have like, mashallah cranky. one thing i love about you is that you have the patience of a saint like you have so much patience mashallah well, like, you mashallah, have to, mashallah. You have to. Like, rome like, wasn't building the way you are with these kids were like we're not gonna get emotional but like the way you have so much patience with them like when when they do something wrong i'm so quick to shout 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 and then take a step back and then you know and then apologize after that because i know that most of the time i shout more than i should and tell them off more than i should and uh you know and then now that you're here you sharing that with me and you calming them down and making them understand you know calmly and quietly where i would have just went in and da, 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 da. it's just it's so much different and khalil is so used to me shouting so when you talk to him and try to calm him down i feel like yeah he's a nice guy still let me just keep pressing that button let me just keep pressing that button but like yeah. you guys overcome that and alhamdulillah yeah, no, no, alhamdulillah because eventually you realize i'm not saying you're the bad guy but you know when you're like shouting and i'm speaking normally yeah eventually you're gonna think you know what let me just be nice to him for a minute yeah you know because yeah. i might get away but i like we set boundaries so eventually yeah he fixes this up and he's all right he apologizes at the end of it which is yeah which is just number one understanding when you make a mistake is when you apologize and you realize what you done was wrong mm. and there was a big step forward okay. what he was doing. so what is the hardest thing that you have faced since we got married no i'll say the most challenging thing yeah the most challenging thing that you have faced since we got married is wallahi you can't like you can't be selfish like you can't think uh you know let me have an hour nap <laughs> like obviously you came into a family you know you had your well, own the, time yeah, you know the challenge the most challenging thing mm. i think is you can't be selfish in that sense like why i used to be single so i used to stay up all night yeah not all night but mm. sleep like 11 12 mm. 12 when, 30, you when i wanted mm. regardless if i have work if i still have work nine in the morning it doesn't matter if you see the sleep three in the morning. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. six hours or mm. five hours sleep, you get up, you take a shower, you go and do what you're supposed to be doing. But with when obviously you come into a family mm. and it's just totally changed. Yeah. Monday to Friday, it doesn't matter whether you stay up late, you still have to wake, wake up, up in the in morning, morning. <laughs> for your kids. And if you didn't have if you didn't have enough sleep and then they're all shouting in the morning and like at yeah. the start i was not used to it you know yeah but alhamdulillah eventually like you know you start to realize that you need rest is important it's like, very get important it. it is important well like, it's, it's so it's, it's so underrated like you know having a good night rest especially when you have a family and then when you wake up in the morning mm. everything is like you know you're fresh you can deal with like if they give you a headache, if they're shouting all day, yeah. if they're all fighting, bickering, they're beefing. Like at least you can deal with it. Mm. Instead of like that short temper, then you're already stressed that like you didn't have enough sleep. Do you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's how I was feeling at the start. Mm. Just I'll stay up late, like and then wake up in the morning and then didn't have enough yeah. rest. And that was a transition to 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 make me a bad dad because obviously you gotta yeah. sleep early wake up for them oh, and then eventually mm. you know you you get used to it it's, it's it's obviously parenting is not easy but alhamdulillah okay what do you miss about your old life well like i said mm. staying up 
obviously <laughs> since we're on the subject we might as well finish it off right staying, staying up. up obviously you like it's bedtime let's go to bed now you know it's just obviously just when you're single you, mm. like it's 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 in the world it's mm. it's in the world and it's like it's a same role so you're like you're just there by yourself you yeah. like obviously regardless if you have family that's different but mm. like you're there by yourself you work for yourself you earn for yourself yeah. like to get it like mm. You, you eat when you want to, mm. you know, on the yeah. weekends it's different, you're single, you're out with your friends, playing football, yeah. doing things, going to cinemas, going out to eat with your friends. And well, you get to do all of that now, but you I just do. have a little tag on no, 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 a football team behind you, all you have is just a football <laughs> no, team. Like, but that is one of the biggest things that has changed, is just, you know, that's what they say in Somali, yeah, freedom, freedom yeah. to do what you want. Yeah. So, yeah, man. No more freedom. Well, locked. locked up. <laughs> they won't let him out. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, Moving on to the next question. What What do you know now that you didn't know two years ago what? about being a father? Being a father. Um, that the journey is just gonna get harder. <laughs> Do you get it? It will. Do you get it what I'm will. saying? Though? It yeah. will. Do you get what I'm saying? Just it just it really it's just gonna get harder to an extent where mm. you're always gonna show them how to do it you're always gonna teach them you're always gonna give them advice till they become young adults mm. and it's up to them mm. to enact on those do you get what yeah. i'm saying to yeah. follow the to follow not the rules but follow like the advice and yeah. obviously dini and as well saladina together you know, be good people. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, obviously, it's hard. Mm. Like, it just all you see is just. You know, I don't want my kid when he's sixteen and fights, stabbings. No. You know, no, we don't. In want that, that life, no, like, so you are trying to guide them. I think that's why yeah. I said it's gonna get harder because you're trying to like not mold them but mm. guide them into the right direction to an extent where when they're old enough, they can make their own decisions. But hopefully, they make the right decisions in that extent mm. to get it. But I would I would say well, like Alhamdulillah the journey, not like I'm complaining. It's just gonna get better, but in the meantime, it is as hard as it gets yeah. from the start to the end. Just it's the same thing. So what teaching. did you not know about being a father that you know now? One thing that he hates the most is when they don't listen and they just want to keep talking and talking and talking back. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'll, I'll listen to them, mm. but eventually it will come to a point where I have to say, listen, this is enough. Do you know, it's for your own good. If you don't do, want to do it, that's fine. Because if he you finds it so it, difficult to tell them off. Like he finds it so <laughs> difficult to tell them off. I'm like, just tell them off. Just tell them off. Enough is enough now. And he'll just find a way. He'll go round the subject, round and around and around around the subject. No, I'm like, just no. tell them off. Give the punishment, he's grounded, take his iPad away, PlayStation gone in the cupboard, you know, and that's it, final. Mm -hmm. But this guy will be like, this is not good, this is that, you gotta be a good person. At that point, Khalil was having a tantrum, Eunice is not in the mood. But like he would, oh, I cherish, I love that. I, one thing I love about him is that, mm -hmm. like he would not give up. He would just keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Yeah, and I feel try. like slowly but surely you're breaking them walls down. Yeah. Because these children are not used to a father. Like they are not used to a man. They're, they're only used to me, a woman, and that's it. And then I feel like, they are finding it difficult, but well, I, I can see you breaking down them walls yeah, every sure single day. Like a bit of that wall is coming down, and they learning to respect you. They love you. They love you to pieces, mashallah. Like when they see me telling Sulman off, I don't tell him off. Don't tell like not telling him off. But I'm like, oh, who left their cup here? And they're like, mommy, please don't shout that, Sunni. Mommy, please don't say that to him. They like they're so quick to defend him. Or when we're play fighting and they see us play fighting, they would automatically jump on me, like assuming that I'm the bad person. They're like, why are you hurting him? What? They so protective over him. If he came to you and me, I feel like they're more protective over you now. Yeah. Which is, I, I love it. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. Alhamdulillah, I love it. So going back, Sulman, what do you love the most about being a father right now? No, it's just the appreciation that you get and it's just you know you're doing it for a cause. Oh, <laughs> no, 
but it's true though. Well, like you're doing it for a cause, so yeah. When they come sit to you, they ask you for advice. They sit down, they complain. You can help them with their problems. Mm. Alhamdulillah, that's that's. I think that's the best thing, you know. When they sit next to you, they lay their head there. Yeah. You know, they chill with you, and you don't expect it. Like say, like I'm sending emails on my phone, or I'm mm. reading my emails, mm. and they just put your head on the lap while they're watching their Netflix for the remote in their mm. hand. You know, you just play with their head, mashallah. It's just, it's, it's, alhamdulillah, it's nimah, you know, it's just yeah. it's something that you should be happy about. Mm. And well, I, like you said, kids are a blessing. It doesn't matter what kind of kids they are, you know. Yeah. Whether they listen or they're stubborn mm. or they're the perfect kids in the world. It doesn't matter. A child is, is just something that Allah gave to you as a blessing. Alhamdulillah. It's an entrustment. You gotta look after them, and then when they're older, they will look after you, right? Mm. Inshallah, we just the plan. <laughs> inshallah, we're put, we're grafting right now, and inshallah, they oh, give yeah. it back to us later on. Inshallah, and we don't have to high five each other in a mm. care home, or we like hey, five. Oh my God, inshallah, ya Allah, so like that. Inshallah, inshallah. Khalil is gonna become a footballer. He said he's going to look after inshallah. us. Munira is going to be living in the sea. She wants to become a marine biologist. So I'm not planning to live in the sea when I'm 70 or 60 or somewhere along them lines. Eunice wants to become a spy. So I am not planning to be anybody's target. So we're putting all our baskets. Benjamin, we're not sure right now. We're putting it towards what? A boxer? <laughs> Definitely. Either MMA fights. <laughs> Or a box or a kickbox or something to do with throwing hands. <laughs> oh, Allah, Allah, Allah. What was it that you was watching this morning? That cat? <laughs> yeah, that cat. Allah. That was a nice movie. So, how, what do you think of...